M3 75mm gun mortar carriage. The half track served as the carrier for numerous self propelled weapons, but relatively few of these would be standardised. The notable exception would be the anti aircraft mounts that would remain in service for years after the end of World War II. Development was started in June 1941 in a response to a request from both the British and American armies for a mobile self-propelled anti-tank gun. The project was to mount the M1897A4 75mm gun in an M3 half-track. This gun was an American copy of the French 75mm from World War I. The original gun mount was the M2A3, but there was a shortage of these and so the M2A2 was substituted on the M3A1 half-track conversion. Yes, I know it sounds quite complicated, but there we are. Autocar were given the first contract to convert these vehicles and built 86 in 1941. 40 were sent to the Philippines to help bolster the forces there. Auto car produced a total of 2,202 of these conversions, but due to a shortage of guns, 113 of these vehicles were converted back into personnel carriers. A number of conversions were made to the basic carrier, these being the moving of the fuel tanks to the rear fighting compartment and adding new subfloor to the rear of the fighting compartment along with storage for 59 rounds of 75mm ammunition. Initially the vehicle crew was four, but this was quickly increased to five. The gun shield at first allowed the gun crew to stand at full height behind the gun, but this gave the vehicle a high silhouette so it was made smaller. The first use in the defence of the Philippines against the Japanese, the vehicles proved to be very good gun platforms. The next major operation it was used in was Operation Torch, the invasion of North Africa by the Allies in 1943. In British service, these vehicles were known as 75mm SP auto car and were used by HQ troops of armoured car reconnaissance units. Even after being declared obsolescent in September 1944, they would remain in service with many units until the end of World War II. Specifications Country USA Entered service 1941 Crew 5 Weight 10 tons Dimensions 20 feet 3 inches Height 7 feet 5 inches Width 7 feet 3 inches Armament 75mm M1897A4 And secondary 7.62mm machine guns More than likely 50 calibers Maximum armour, 5 inches. Power plant, white, producing 128 horsepower. Petrol engine. Performance, 45 miles per hour and range 200 miles. So it looks like it was only in use with two other countries, which of course is Great Britain and the Free French Army and they had 170 vehicles supplied to Britain and like I said earlier they were used with armoured car regiments with the reconnaissance units and they were used in the Tunisian campaign and Sicily with the Royal Dragoons the French used the M3s for training before recovering the M10 tank destroyers and they had eight guns in regimental artillery use so not too many but there we are um i actually thought this one would be a bit like the m3 where i could tell you a bit more about it especially for um people who wanted to model this or build kits or even do code threes but uh, unfortunately not and it's a shame really because I wanted a longer video today where things are going on in my life but uh, yeah anyway it looks like tomorrow I will be doing the AEC Militant which is one of my all-time favorite British military trucks and the keen-eyed amongst you 
will have seen on the badge of Andy's Vehicle History Channel the big orange truck at the top. That is a civilian militant taken, of course, by my good friend Kelvin in Glasgow, who made that badge for the channel. So that will be done tomorrow, and hopefully next week we can get a few more videos out. It's just been uh, very, very hard this week. But we're going to get there. We're getting there.